Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm in studio with Pamela Adlon today. Hi. Hi, Mariah. We're talking about better things. Awesome. Very excited for season three to get, get rolling. Are I'm, you excited? I'm really excited. We've, uh, I, you know, I have writers this year, and we've mapped out um, an entire season um, and some beautiful stories, and mm -hmm. I forget uh, about, uh, what we're doing because, you know, I'm in a cocoon and, and I'm working mm -hmm. and I'm writing and then I'm home and I'm cooking for my kids. So yesterday I went shopping to get some food for, um, my daughter was waiting in the car and I walk out and this woman goes, I love your show. I love your show. Thank you for making your show. And I just was like, Oh, I have this show. Yeah. I have this show and people, people have that kind of response. So there's, I have a responsibility to keep people passionate about it. Yeah. Are there any plot lines from the last season that are more of your favorite, your favorite plot lines, like things that you, you still think about today? Where Frankie was and how we had our little thing and um, the stuff with um, Phil, my mom, yeah. on the show. And it's so interesting because, uh, you know, people my age, we kind of have this kind of nagging thing in the back of our heads like are our parents okay like how much longer do we have right now with with this good moment and you know people always have kind of a setback and then all of a sudden it's like nothing happened so you just speed along and I liked uh you know the stuff that happened with Henry Thomas who played Robin mm -hmm. and seeing Sam go down a road where she kind of loses control and the fun stuff like with Jeff and um you know in the truck and saying no 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 and just yes. <laughs> you know um <laughs> my feeling about season two which I really wanted to convey and that I feel happened is uh it takes a village to mm -hmm. raise kids mm -hmm. and you don't have to have a perfect nuclear family it's it's really about the people that you bring into your life that if you give your children to them and they give themselves to your children, it's just the greatest way to uh, raise your family. Yeah. And uh, Sam Fox's world very much feels like a bohemian world, uh, very creative. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you think is unique to Los Angeles? Is that kind of a unique experience that you've felt growing up here? Um, it or is it kind of an ideal in Los it's, Angeles? It's kind of just the way my daughters and I live our lives, you know? I mean, that's just the way, you know, I mean, we're growing up in art and music and food and um, culture, you know? And those are the things that keep us moving forward and keep us inspired. So uh, I just want to share that way we live um, in my show. Mm -hmm. And how's it going with the, uh, you know, the relationship you have with the three actresses that play your daughters? I know your daughters kind of picked them out. Yeah. Um, so how is, how is that experience of, you know, watching them get older and working with them? And well, it's so funny because like every once in a while I'll text the girl's parents and be like, how old is Olivia now? <laughs> uh, send me a picture of Hannah's hair. Right. You know, um, did Mikey turn 18, you know, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, it's, it's been incredible, you know, seeing, you know, how they've, they've grown, you know, as people and actors. Um, it's, it's, it's just a, an incredible kind of way to, to look at, uh, you know, different kids who aren't your kids and, mm -hmm. and, um, it, you know, I, I have a huge responsibility to, to all of them, all, mm. everybody. <laughs> you have six daughters now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize what you don't want out of, um, a sitcom? You know, for me, uh, authenticity is everything, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, I, I want things to, to look and feel a certain way and I want it to sound a certain way. And so... Uh, you know, I'm very particular. I'm a voiceover actor as well. So I've always said that, um, my talent isn't as much as the voices that I do. It's my ear. Mm. So for me, my show is about 
my vision and my ear and being able to kind of uh, procure uh, an authentic experience for people and keep it um, funny and uh, raw and hard and uncomfortable and and sometimes dirty and always mm -hmm. just with a heart and and just uh, an uplifting feeling. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything that you want to start moving away from as far as kind of plot lines or, um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm doing, uh, I'm kind of introducing, uh, new things, mm -hmm. uh, in season three, but yeah, I certainly don't want to keep, you know, clanging the same bell, mm -hmm. you know, on mm -hmm. everything like. Oh, she's a single mom and she's doing it alone. You know, I mean, your life takes you in different directions. And my own real life daughters are, are all older now. And, uh, and we get pleasure from each other in ways that we were never able to do before because it was a lot of, you know, managing and, and, um, you know, taking care of them. And now they can take care of themselves a lot more, but I always make sure that I'm there for them uh, because even when they get older, they still need you if you're yeah. lucky and they yeah. still want you. Yeah. Last question to you. Your last uh, episode of season two had a musical number in it. Can you tell me that day, the dance sequence, what that day of filming was like? Oh, it was amazing. I kept it a secret from Mikey the entire time we were in prep and production. And uh, I would do secret choreography on the weekends <laughs> with Cat Burns. And um, I would take Celia with me. And I, I mean, I wouldn't let anybody play the song, talk about the song. I wanted to keep it so under wraps. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it was an incredible experience. I had a techno crane and I had, you know, hundreds of people on my crew and... I think after the third take, I slipped my disc, oh, which no. uh, to this day <laughs> is my mark, my badge of honor. And uh, you could see me like kind of barely being able to move once the dance starts. But <sighs> that song for me, my friend Heather had played me the video because we were kind of, she was doing my hair and we were showing each other our inspirations and I was like, you gotta check this out. And then she was like, I'm obsessed with her, you gotta check this out. And then that song rolled over and over in my head and, uh, and then I watched the video a bunch of times and I knew that I wanted to recreate the video in my show with my girls. Mm -hmm. And it was just one of the greatest experiences we all ever had. Amazing. Um, so I, I know I said that was the last question, but if season two was community, what's season three? Um, getting older. Getting older. Pamela, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so Better much. Better things on the FX channel.